In this video, you'll learn how to import an app into ClickSense Enterprise, create and secure a stream, publish apps in different streams, and set up a task to reload your app daily. When you work with ClickSense Desktop, your apps are exported to the local drive in QVF format. This format is portable, meaning it can be shared with other ClickSense Desktop users. It can also be imported into a ClickSense Enterprise environment. In this example, we copy and paste the QVF file on the machine where ClickSense Enterprise is installed. However, you can also share an app by email or through any file sharing platform. To import an app, you need to open the QMC, click on the App tab, and then click on the Import button. Now we have to choose the file to import into the app. In this case, we select the QVF file that we have saved on the desktop. We can repeat the process for all the apps that we have stored in ClickSense Desktop. During the importing process, you don't have to wait for a file to finish importing before you start the next one. When all the apps are imported, a confirmation symbol is displayed. The user who imports an app automatically becomes the owner of the app. Once you have finished importing your apps into ClickSense Enterprise, you can publish them. To do this, you have to choose which streams you want to publish your app to. By default, ClickSense includes a stream named Everyone. All authenticated users have read and publish rights to the Everyone stream, and all anonymous users have read-only rights. Once the app is published, its status changes, showing the date of publication the migration status, and the stream. Streams enable users to access published apps, sheets, and stories. When you create a new stream, you can set the security for it. By default, access to all resources is denied, and rules give access to resources. You can type a rule directly in the editor or you can set it in the basic section. In this example, we are assigning the previously uploaded user group, Salesman and Executive, access to the sales stream. You can also assign other actions. Now you have created the stream, you can choose the apps you want to publish to this stream. In this case, we will publish the Sales Discovery app to the sales stream. You can repeat this process to define all the streams you need in your company. For example, you might want to create a stream dedicated to the people who work in the HR area. Once the stream is created, you allow users belonging to the HR group access to this stream. These users were previously imported in the user directory connection you see what actions these users are allowed to take. When done, you can select the apps you want to publish in the stream. Here, the Help Desk Management app will be published in the HR stream. Now you set up a task to reload the apps periodically. For example, you can create a daily reload task for the sales app. You can set the time and frequency and lastly the end data.
You can set the time and frequency, and lastly, the end data. You can do the same for the Help Desk Management app. If you want to publish an app in more than one stream, you need to duplicate it. For example, if you want to make the Consumer Sales app available to everyone, but you want to give editing rights to only your executive group, you can leave the app published for everyone and duplicate it. Then you can create another stream called Consumer Sales. and enable editing, deleting and change owner actions for only the executive group. Finally, come back into Apps Management and publish the duplicated app in the new stream. And that concludes this video. Thanks for watching.